much. It's a great pleasure to welcome all of you again in our Royal Gratitude <coughs> in Action ceremony, which with Nubar and Vartan we started in 2014. I remember we had a long debate about where is the world going, what we can do to keep the memory of Armenian genocide, but at the same time give the hope and to show the future of the world. Of course, the world has changed dramatically. It was very emotional and touching for me to again hear the stories of the people which we all admire and people who really, every time showing what, despite all the darkness, what we're facing in a current world, you can stay human, you can stay brave, and you can do your best to help other people. And it's a big privilege for me, personally, helping and supporting the people who I really believe are doing an unbelievably important job for all of us, for our next generation, for, for the world. We are all living now in a time when more and more <clears throat> people taking very strong positions, black and white, and they've been pushed to become ultra-right, ultra-left, or take one side. And one of my good Jewish friends in Russia said, you know, if I have a different opinion, it doesn't mean I'm an idiot or I'm a traitor, I just have a different opinion. And they keep your different opinion and having the right to say what you believe is, is important for you is a critical, I think. To also raise a voice and always be an advocate of the people who need being help, it's tough because, for example, today we're facing so many challenges. It was, war was far, and we've been, you, but we've been worried with Nubar about the main causes will become from Africa or Middle East. Now we are facing everywhere the crisis, everywhere we see the situations which request um, <coughs> really something very special it needs to be human with the belief that this is right, what you're doing. Um, we got pandemic, we got the war, we got a situation which now for us Armenians has become very difficult because in 2020 we got the war and thousands of young people died in uh, this war. And now we have 120,000 people living in Artsakh who are facing the same challenge and same risk to be <clears throat> or killed or live by place will be living thousands of years. And I want to say thank you, all of you, the selection committee members, the laureates, the finalists, the organizers of this event, because you give me the courage, you give me the power to feel what I need to do, and this is why I moved to Artsakh and I decided to stay with the people who need my help just because I saw your example. This is why I want to say thank you. You give me a lot of power and I feel very strong because of. So I saw all of you, I met all of you, I spent time with you and I realized this is the way how you need to respond for the crisis happening everywhere, including in your homeland. So I want to again say thank you and I admire all of you. Um, you know, we are living in a world where people are losing their trust, losing trust to institutions, to heads of the countries, heads of the international institutions, and we are facing serious crisis of the people who feel they're alone. And I will say, I'm strong blue with my wife, Veronica, but the na networks, the people who can trust, the network of the people who can rely, become more and more critical in this time. That's why I'm so happy that during this uh, seven years, we built an amazing network of the people who didn't know each other, but now they know each other, they trust each other, and they can rely to each other. I believe the importance of the networks in the current crisis situation will only go up, and this is why to continue to build trust, to continue to do Aurora, despite all the challenges we're facing in Armenia and in Artsakh, I think is very important for Sending message and saying, despite we're all facing absolutely different reality, we are together and we can do our best to save the world, save the people, and give hope to the next generation. The other, what I saw, importance of this crisis situation is the leadership. 
I found this leadership and taking leaders who can really be responsible, and not because of their head of the countries or because of their head of the corporation, but people who believe it's a very <clears throat> responsibility to be leader who can manage and who guide people and try to do the best is will be really critical. And last but not least, I'll say stay human. Stay human with your values. Give more what you received. And really what we heard about the stories is about people who giving more what we actually to be received back. And they don't care about whether we receive back or not. We just decide by themselves what we'll give whatever we have to other people. And I think it's only one way we can save the world if we are, we'll have more people who will be ready to give to others everything they have without expecting anything we'll get back to them. Thank you.